Sometimes when I'm exploring the archives, I'm just looking for art or I'm typing in random keywords and seeing what I find, but I've been coming across processions and coronations for a while, and I've been collecting the really cool artworks and pictures that I've been seeing, and I saw a couple of cool progressions and processions that uh, this one, I believe, from this book that I just showed the title page of, and I wanted to string this one together in Photoshop and just see what it looked like as a whole. And um, so this basically video is just going to be a collection of my procession, processions, some random thoughts on them. Uh, I didn't really do too much research. I'm just kind of theorizing based on what I see and what I know or have heard or of whatever from other people and um, what I think of my own, my imagination. What strikes me as I see all of these different people in these processions, like this is a clearly detailed procession with animals, humans, all different people of different classes, all different things, triumph, arc to triumphs. Like if those arcs are that big in real life that we see and these guys are just going through them, is this a procession of gods? What year did this come take place in? The animals always seem like they can handle themselves fine in crowds, which is great. Porta triumphalis. <laughs> You never know what these people, what time this is. This could be thousands of years ago. I don't freaking know. It could be 100 years ago. It could be 200 years ago. I just wanted to show them. Some of these that you're going to come up and see all are after this particular procession. I just wanted to reverse it like that to just see what it, look at it. Jeez, imagine going down that thing. Wow. And this is a different procession from the 1800s, a lot different from that last one, a lot more uniforms, people are wearing clothes. The other one really does seem like a procession of gods. Maybe this generation got it from that, got coronations and different things from those past. I don't know. I'm just theorizing. Don't get mad at me if I'm spreading non-information. I'm just spitting out imagination and different thoughts that this artwork conveys. And when I scan the archives, one of my main objectives besides finding different hints is finding beautiful artwork. I can't resist. And every time I see something, I just have to save it and put it in a collection and get inspired by it. Like these maps. I love the old maps and the buildings. And just, they all, I just cannot get out of my head what they point towards because I feel like there's a realization right on the cusp of all of us that explains a lot of these buildings in this time, in the timeline, and explains it in an interesting way. I'm not really sure, but I mean, all these symbols here, all these artworks, they're such beautiful artworks. Like that one looks like a camera obscura with watercolor. These are like ink engravings, but different. There's, some are more detailed, some are precise, some are real, some are a little fantastical, like that last fireworks one. But look at the precision on these, the distance. Like these drawings, drawing people, like thousands of people in a drawing is not easy. It's absolutely unbearably tough. And uh, engraving that would be even tougher. And look at the detail of all of these artworks, these paintings, these masterpieces, this structure. They capture the light. They capture everything perfect. This lighting is so pure. It almost looks more real than what we're getting now. And I swear our lighting and our clouds and our weather is all botched and all out of whack. But these things, they look pure. Look at these buildings. They conjure up something innate within us. Like were we these repurposed ancient buildings? Were these people building them, these royals? Were they just housing them after, after the flood, after the generations of whatever was lost and then they ended up in these places? Or were they making them? Who knows? Where are all the artists? Why is all this stuff missing? Why is everything so lame now? Think about the processions now and the inaugurations. They are nothing of this prestige or caliber. The people that we have running our countries now are freaking egomaniacal psychopaths that are all in it for the money and would do anything. They'd kill their own mothers to get rise in power or to get more money. These people are sick. The people in these times look like they're amazing. It looks like they're living in a time where life itself was drastically different in every possible way. And just, I mean, even the onset of social media in the 90s killed a gigantic part of humanity. But imagine how many different stages have been lost since then, since these people were living amongst all these buildings, taking t things calmly, taking time to travel places, really experiencing it all, not just flying over it, although they probably definitely had the uh, amazing blimps. But look at these buildings. That is incredibly, unbearably ancient. And the style, the class, the artwork, the way everything's represented with skill, with refinement, Corona, and then um, just the way they represent it, the way the feel, the fairy tale feel, 
it's a fairy tale to us, but it was real at one point. <laughs> and like, you know, things maybe, uh, maybe this fairy tale vision of, uh, that we conjure up and all our, our controlled books conjure up and arts conjure up is, is just innate with us because we all came from a time that was just so much better than what's happening now. So much more magic, so much more purity, so much better intentions all around. Our leaders actually cared. There was family involved. They weren't just hired people who would do anything. Hired scumbags who are compromised and will do anything. Every one of these people had their cognitive abilities with them as king. And not only that, but were strategic masterminds. Some could have been evil, some could have been bad. I don't know their history. I'm not going into it. I'm sure it's all been tainted. But nowadays, they are just terrible. They get a, they're not properly elected. They're definitely not family connected to anything, unless they are some sick families. But not the people. They don't like them. And uh, this, just what is this? One more time. Like, what? Wow, were these gods, were these j massive people, a different race of people? Was Rome from thousands of years ago, a few hundred just repurposed that I, everything different? What do the numbers mean, the years? How do we know what to trust about anything? Josephus, what's up, buddy? Look at all these people. The different d races of people, all different ones lined up, you know, and this could be also metaphorical of something, a procession to who knows, or just an event that may have happened. It could be documenting something that happened. We don't know, but look at the angel there. That angel was probably there at the time. Who knows, ethereal angels popping out just because everyone was on a different plane and ready to receive them in their minds and see them. Now we've lost it all, we can't see squat, unless it's on our phone. Or in the metaverse with Zuck. We will never find any of us normal people. We're gonna bring the real world back to the magic. Bless you all. One of the future directions I'm heading in is just going to try and go through some videos and old clips. And I came across this in Delhi in 1903. And this is an amazing procession and glimpse into a time that is long gone. Look at these. Now, the, nowadays, these elephants wouldn't even be able to make it out in public like this without people freaking out about poor treatment of animals. And look at all these animals. Even the ones in the front, they were doing like a special move, like trained so well. These elephants are incredible. They're carrying amazing loads, but they don't seem to care. They probably have immense amounts of respect since they're in India, where uh, this is, and it seems like they treat animals a lot better there than they do over here. But still, this is 1903, and it looks like it's another universe. Looks like it's something from, just like a Star Wars movie in some other place, or kind of similar to the, what we see in a lot of the artworks, and how common in this area were all these different things were all these different processions how frequently did they have these for what occasion they definitely had a very good cultural unity and people um, seem to be kind of feeling it <laughs> getting along parading having a blast look at this Ele everything's so calm these elephants are not in danger of like escaping and trampling people they're probably very tame the connections with the human is probably something we've lost since you know nowadays uh, with the people know of the circuses and with animals to get them like this you have to beat them and be like terrible to them but these animals don't look like they've been through any terrible times they're carrying a lot of important stuff that one wrong move could destroy and probably some important people and these animals know what they're doing this is just another it's just a great glimpse into another time that we really uh, that is lost to us and was eradicated and it looks like it's been strategically destroyed and erased and forgotten for us and strategically led out of this and into a realm of where everything you know where we see elephants now and people are like oh my god they can't they can't handle it you can't even have elephants in zoos or sanctuaries anymore because of these rules and it's like this we our, our interactions between humans and animals was a lot more superior in the past and we are missing a lot and it's because we've been guided astray by fools and these films have some pretty great glimpses take a look at the crowd take a look at the people, the instruments, the prestige, the, the just the awesomeness. I was looking, scanning it for giants, but I don't think I found any. Either way, enjoy the rest of this glimpse into a magical past that just had things had things right in a lot of ways, I think, and uh, probably wrong in some ways. But we've got a lot of things wrong nowadays, and I'd prefer this time back here. People were embracing the present moment. People were not on their phones, not caring about anything in the internet world that means absolutely nothing. They were embracing the moment, embracing the world around them, and it shows. Enjoy the rest of this.
bless you all.